Police and a former Scotland Yard detective, Peter Blexley, is here in the studio. Always good to see you, Peter. Always makes you feel a bit reassured when you're here. Thank you. Tell you that for nothing. Mm. Um, what do you make of, of, of all this? I mean, the fact that people in our poll are saying they believe violent crime is, is on the rise. I mean, is it actually the case? Oh, yes, absolutely, yeah. The statistics bear that out. Uh, and, of course, as violent crime rises, not only are we actually a bit less safe, but many people feel less safe as well, even though violent crime may not, may not impact on their lives. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's deeply, deeply concerning, as is Mark's piece that we've, that we've yeah. just watched. It's concerning on so many levels. I know the piece featured Albanians heavily. Well, they've had a grip in London on much of the cocaine trade for some considerable time. Oh, really? and, some, and some years ago, they called themselves the Hellbanians, a group of particular criminals from Albania, and they posted videos on YouTube and the like with weapons, cash, drugs and all of that in a deliberate attempt to kind of spread fear of, mm-hmm. of the viciousness that they might use to conduct their illegal business. So is it organised crime rather than... I mean, a lot of people watching at the moment might have a general fear that, that you know, just walking along the street you could be subjected to violent crime, but is most of it organised and gang-related? Yes, the illegal drug industry fuels an awful lot of violent crime because, of course, it is illegal. So if there's a dispute in this world, they can't go to court, for example, and have a judge make a ruling. They can't get two firms of solicitors to exchange letters. It's illegal industry. So violence is a currency. And they will take that out onto the streets and reinforce their territory, their patch, their business, industry, their business interests, and, of course, settle any scores. And tragically, we only have to rewind a few days Mm -hmm. to the awful murder of Olivia to to, to see what happens when unscrupulous criminals take firearms out onto the streets, often to settle their differences.